My name is Mabel Connor, and before the film, I was indifferent. I was curious as a survivor as to what all of the controversy was about. I wanted to go see the film for myself in order to find out uh, just how I personally, as a survivor, would feel about this type of grindhouse movie. The movie itself made me feel emotional. I was happy. I was sad. Uh, I was all points in between. Everything that a good movie is supposed to do for you. And uh, coming out of it, I feel empowered that we're getting a message out there about hate crimes. And if the people that you know are against the movie would actually see the movie, I think we could come to the table and discuss these issues a lot more succinctly. My name is Winter Mullenix. Before the movie, I didn't have any apprehension, to be honest with you. I use the word tranny in my everyday speak. That's I'm, I'm comfortable using that term. Of course, if somebody tells me not to use that term, you know, I'm respectful and I don't use it. But when it comes to this film, I thought it was appropriate um, for the grindhouse feel and everything. And I'm a, I'm a grindhouse fan, so I was excited about it in the first place. Um, seeing it was difficult for me. As a hate crime survivor, I went through a lot of the things that happened in the movie. So, you know, I a lot of it was like through fingers. <laughs> but I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And the humor was very, very funny. And the portrayal of trans people, you know, during basic conversation was pretty accurate for some of us. I mean, very casual, just for just people. After seeing the movie, I, I find to be, um, I find myself much more supportive of it, even now. I, I loved it. I think the, mes the message is positive. It's about survival. It's about strength and survival. It's about not just sitting down and taking it. Um, granted, the imagery is severe, but the message is good. I, uh, I did go see the movie. I Before I saw the movie, I was dead set against it. I didn't like the word trainee being used. I've never really cared much for that word. I consider it to be a word similar to female that you would see in the porn industry. And because of that, I, didn't, I do not like that term. Um, I also didn't like the insinuation that trans people are crazy lunatics and ready to get back at anybody who may be their mom. I chose to see the film at the request of a friend who who told me what Israel's intentions were. So I chose to see the film. I did go last weekend and I saw it with uh, my fiance on Saturday night and I saw it again on Sunday afternoon. I feel like the film was very empowering. I thought it was very appropriate. I felt like Israel did a real good job of bringing the attention of transgender violence and murder to the screen. Um, he did so in a way, in a method that it had fun, and the reason why it had fun was because of the drag performers in it, and um, at the same time, the violence was very serious. The whole theater was quiet when the violence was going on, and you can feel the anger of uh, the, the moviegoers. Um, during this film, it was very obvious. I felt that. Um, I, I don't feel like at all the movie showed that that trans people were vengeful in any way, and um, they did not go out and seek uh, revenge on their on their attackers. And I'm not going to say much more than that for people who haven't seen the movies, but I think that's very important. Um, I thought it was a very good film. Both my fiance and I felt that this movie should be in the um, everywhere and not just in gay festivals. I think it's, uh, it's a very good movie. I applaud Israel and I'm looking forward to a uh, sequel if you ever have one. My name is Kelly Busey. I'm author of Planet Transgender and founder and um, organizer with the Dallas Transgender Advocates and Allies. Um, I'm here to talk about why I uh, am opposed to ticked off with knives. 
of course, the first thing that we are opposed with it is opposed about it is that the, the pejorative training, the word has um, been used in the title, um, the content of the movie, the movie portrays transgender women as um, in, as basically sex craved dancers in bars um, who seek men for sex, and when they when the men have found out that they are not real women. Um, the men um, commit violence against them. The violence is gratuitously explicit. There's um, scenes where um, body parts actually fly off of the victims. Uh, later in the movie, we, we are opposed also to um, how the transgender women feel vindicated that they um, have uh, committed when they commit violence against their attackers. Um, this is sending a very dangerous message to the transgender community and that um, violence um, rectifies and satisfies those who um, are victims. My name is Pamela Curry and I am a health and disability advocate that happens to be transgender. I oppose this movie because of the, the use of the imagery of the darkness, the retribution. I have been the survivor of domestic violence. I've spoken out on this before. Uh, it's been a while, but um, because retribution is never the answer, we have laws to do this. We don't need to betray darkness. This only promotes more darkness. I also am one of those people who live in the very entertainment area district that most people come, they have their party, they leave. So for them to portray these images, well, you know, people that want to actually live out this fantasy of attacking transgenders, I'm, I'm one of those people that live there that's going to have to deal with this. You know. Got to keep it all together now. Got to keep it so cool.